All right, guys, so I am going to go over the assignment for 1.2c, the interior angles of triangles practice. So, oops, hopefully you were able to watch the notes video. Now I'll go over the practice. Um, after having tried these on your own, watch this video, pause it at any time that you need to. I'm going to go through how we get our answers for the answer key for this. All right. Let's start with number one. So for number one, again, I'm going to add together all three angles to create an equation. So question mark plus 60 plus 50 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, we get question mark plus 110 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 110 from both sides, and we end up getting question mark equals 70 degrees. So there's number one. Okay. And that's how we're going to solve the, all of these problems on this assignment it is setting up our equation first, then solving for the missing piece. Okay. For number two, like I said, same, same idea. Set up your equation first. Question mark plus 76 plus 67 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, we have question mark plus 143 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 143 from both sides. We get that the missing angle equals 37 degrees. So there's the first two. Uh, number three on page 41, we're going to do question mark plus 70 plus 70 equals 180. 70 plus 70 is 140, so question mark plus 140 equals 180. To get the question mark by itself, subtract 140 from both sides. We end up with question mark equals 40 degrees. Notice how I'm circling my answers on here. Please do that as well, just to make it more obvious for your teacher uh, what your answer is for each one of these problems. Whoops. Number four. Set up your equation first. Add all three angles together to equal 180. So question mark plus 40 plus 85 equals 180. Um, 40 plus 85 is 125. So I've got question mark plus 125 equals 180. Subtract 125 from both sides. And we got question mark by itself. Question mark equals 55 degrees. So same thing, circle your answer when it's done. Now, we have a new set of directions for the next four problems. So you can see here it says to solve for x. We don't have to say what the entire angle equals. We're just solving for x. So I'm going to set up my equation uh, just like I did before. I might have to zoom in a little bit to make this a little bit nicer for you guys. Let's try it not zoomed in. So I've got x plus 88 plus 40 plus 60 equals 180. Combine like terms. 88 plus 60 plus 40 is 188. So I've got x plus 188 equals 180. Subtract 188 from both sides, and we get x equals negative 8. What? A negative answer? But remember, that's not for the angle itself. We don't have an angle with a negative amount of degrees. That's just for x. When I substitute that value in for x, it will not give me an angle that has a negative degrees. Okay, x can be negative. The angle will not be, but x can be negative. For number six, same thing, set up the equation first. So I add all three angles together, 19x plus 4, 19x plus 4, plus 56, plus 44. So all three angles added together has to equal 180 degrees. Combine like terms. So 56 plus 4 is 60. 60 plus 44 
is 104, so 19x plus 104 equals 180. Subtract 104 from both sides. We're left with 19x equals 76. Divide both sides by 19. And we get x equals 4. That's all we have to do. Solve for x. We're not trying to find out what the measurement of the angle is. Number 7, so big uh, reminder right there. That symbol is telling us that that angle is 90 degrees. So I'm going to set up my equation first. x plus 59 plus 90 plus 40 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms. We have x plus 189 equals 180. And then isolate the variable by doing the opposite. Subtract 189 from both sides. And look at what happened again. This time, x happened to equal negative 9. Is that OK? Yes, that's OK. Uh, when we substitute in that value for x, it does not make the angle itself negative. And then finally, number 8, um, set up your equation. So we're going to add all three angles together, x plus 40 plus 85 plus 58 equals 180 degrees. When I combine like terms, I have x plus 183 equals 180. Subtract 183 from both sides. And we get x equals negative 3. So again, we end up with a negative number. So if you were a little concerned about that when you solved these on your own, now you can see that it's okay to have x be a negative number. Turn to the next page, which for you guys is page 42 in your book. And now it's not just having you solve for x, you still have to do that. It's also having you find the measurement of angle A. So just as a reminder to myself, I'm going to go ahead and put the little arc where angle A is so that I know once I'm finished to go back to that expression and to substitute in whatever value I get for x in for x in that expression and see what I get for the measurement of angle A. Okay, so for this first one, I'm going to have to zoom in on these. For number 9 there, let's go ahead and set up our equation first. So I've got x plus 40 plus x plus 82 plus 70 equals 180. I've got to combine like terms. x plus x is 2x. And then 40 plus 82 plus 70 is 192. And now it's, just a two, now it's just a two step equation. So I'm going to subtract 192 from both sides. I'm left with 2x. I'll cross this out. 2x equals negative 12. And then I divide both sides by 2. That gets me for x, negative 12 divided by 2. Well, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So I've got x, but they want the measurement of angle A. So angle A is represented by the expression x plus 40. Well, we just said x equals negative 6. So really, that's negative 6 plus 40, and negative 6 plus 40 is 34 degrees. So you can see I have two answers circled there um, for number 9. And that's what, what I'll do for 10, 11, and 12 also. Okay. First, set up your equation to solve for x. So for this one, I'll start with angle A again. So 7x minus 2 plus 11x plus 4 plus 70 equals 180. 
and combine like terms. This time I have 11x and 7x. 11x and 7x combine to give me 18x and then minus 2 and plus 4 together equal positive 2 plus 70 is plus 72 equals 180. Subtract 72 from both sides. We get 18x equals 108 and then divide both sides by 18 and I get x equals 6. So this is my first answer but I've got to figure out what the measurement of angle A is. So for this one, I'm going to substitute in 6 for x. So it's not 7 times x anymore. It's 7 times 6 minus 2. Well, 7 times 6 is 42. And 42 minus 2 is 40 degrees. So again, please circle your answers so that we can see when we come around and check your work and you guys submit your pictures, which one is your answer. For number 11, same thing, I'm going to have to zoom in, but let's set up our equation first. So I've got x plus 47 plus x plus 67 plus 90, remember that's what that symbol means, equals 180 degrees. Go and combine like terms. Well, x plus x is 2x. 47 plus 67 plus 90 is 204. So 2x plus 204 equals 180. Subtract 204 from both sides. We get 2x equals negative 24. Divide both sides by 2. And we get that x equals negative 12. But that's only part of your answer. We have to figure out what the measurement of angle A is. So instead of x plus 47, now it's negative 12 plus 47. And negative 12 plus 47 is 35 degrees. Last but not least for these ones, uh, number 12, same thing, set up your equation first. So I've got 7x minus 1 plus 6x minus 1 plus 78 equals 180 degrees. 7x plus 6x, 7 plus 6 is 13. So 13x, uh, negative 1 plus negative 1 plus 78 is 76 equals 180. Subtract 76 from both sides, just a little two-step equation. We have 13x equals 104. Divide both sides by 13 to get the x by itself. And we're left with x equals 8. But that's only part of my answer. Now that I know that x equals 8, I gotta substitute that in for the expression for angle A. So it's not 7x minus 1 anymore, it's 7 times 8 minus 1. Well 7 times 8 is 56. 56 minus 1 is 55 degrees. Alright, so this one ends with some, some more of these puzzles. Um, I'm gonna have to write extremely small for this one. In fact, I'm going to change the uh, the thickness of the marker here just to make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, so for number 13, remember, um, as I said in the notes video, you want to start with the triangle that's only missing one angle. And for that, it would be this triangle here, right? It's only missing one angle. So I'll do that one first. Uh, I'll go ahead and label that angle X. So I've got x plus 56 plus 66 equals 180. Uh, combine like terms, we get x plus 122 equals 180. Subtract 122 from both sides, and we end up getting x 
equals 58. So now that I know that that angle here is 58 degrees, I can figure out this angle because they are complementary, right? This symbol right here tells us that that's a 90 degree angle. So those two angles are complementary. All I have to do is 90 minus 58 to figure out what that missing angle on the other triangle is. Well, 90 minus 58 is 32 degrees. Put that over here also, 32 degrees. So now I can figure out the question mark because now that triangle is only missing the question mark. I have the other two angles written down. So set up your equation. Question mark plus 32 plus 68 equals 180. Combine like terms. I've got question mark plus 100 equals 180. Subtract 100 from both sides. And we get the question mark equals 80 degrees. And again, circle your answer for all of these. Uh, for number 14, it's very similar to the example, the second example in our notes. So we'll follow kind of the same pattern that we did for the notes, right? I'm trying to find this angle first. Um, set up that equation as x plus 30 plus 20 equals 180. Combine like terms, we get x plus 50 equals 180. Whoa, almost dropped my marker. And then subtract 50 from both sides. We get that x equals 130. And then if I know x, then I also know this angle because those are vertical angles. So I'm going to go ahead and mark down that that one is also 130 degrees. Now the triangle with a question mark in it is only missing one angle, and I can solve for that. So I'll set up my equation first, question mark plus 130 plus 27 equals 180 degrees. And then just solve for the question mark. 130 plus 27 is 157 degrees. Subtract 157 from both sides. And we get that the question mark equals 23 degrees. Last two, best two. Here we go. Uh, for number 15, same thing. You know, same idea. Start with the triangle that's only missing one angle. That would be this angle right here. I'll label that one X. So I've got X plus 57 plus 75 equals 180. Combine like terms, I get X plus 132 equals 180. Subtract 132 from both sides, and we get X equals 48 degrees. Now because of that right angle symbol that's on this corner, I know X and this angle are complementary, meaning they add up to 90 degrees, so I'm just gonna do 90 minus 48 to see what's missing for that other angle. 90 minus 48 is 42 degrees. Now the question mark is the only angle that's missing from that triangle. So I'll set up my other equation. Question mark plus 42 plus 76 equals 180. Question mark, combine like terms, question mark plus 118 equals 180. And then subtract 118 from both sides. We get that the question mark is equal to 62 degrees. Final problem. And this one is the most fun. It's the, it's the one that we really haven't talked about yet. But we're going to start the same way. I'm going to start with the triangle that's only missing one angle. So it's got to be that one right there. Set up my equation first. X plus 65 plus 40 equals 180. almost forgot that right side of the equation there. Add together our like terms. We get X plus 105 equals 180, and then subtract 105 from both sides. I get that x is 75 degrees, OK? 
Okay. Now, how does that help us? Let me erase my X and put in 75 degrees there. 75 degrees. Okay. The way or the reason that that helps us is that if you notice, I have this angle, the 75 degrees. I have this angle, the 65 degrees. And then I have this missing angle here, which we'll call angle Y just for right now. All three of those together, I don't know if you've noticed this up until this point, form this straight line right here. Well, we talked about this in class. How many degrees are in a straight line? 180 degrees. So I can actually solve for y by adding all three of those angles together. I know that they form a straight line, so they have to add up to 180 degrees. y plus 75 plus 65 has to equal 180 degrees. So that's y plus 140 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 140 from both sides and I just found out what y is. y equals 40 degrees. So I can put my little 40 degrees in here. And now that I know that angle, now I can solve for the question mark. So I go ahead and set up my equation question mark plus 40, the one I just found, plus 120, the one they gave us, equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, we get that question mark plus 160 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 160 from both sides. And most of you already see what the answer is going to be. It is 180 minus 160, 20 degrees. All right, if uh, you still are confused on some of these, please make sure you talk to your teacher and ask for some help.